Sunday Harness Racing at Addington Craig. It's going to be great to have two meetings this weekend because there's so many horses in the Canterbury region. Before we get into the winners, how do people who don't know how to get hold of you more permanently on your website or obviously the 0900 number, where do they go to find out, big fella? Yeah, Mac. Uh, thank you, Michael. Um, Walesharness.co.nz. Get on the internet. Um, have a read of what we've got on there at the moment. There's a couple of nice reads in there and a couple of uh, podcasts highlighting a few trials as well, Michael. And, uh, of course, you have a busy week with four meetings this week. And we'll look at a couple for Eddington on Sunday. What does it cost to be part of this for, say, a month, for a month of chipping? Because, obviously, the gallops aren't back for another couple of weeks. So what does it cost for people to, to have that expert stuff if they haven't got the time to the research themselves? Yeah, we're running a special at the moment, Michael, $39 for a month. I think there's around 16, 17 meetings, something like that, for the month of June. So that's right, about $2, just over $2 a meeting. Um, and that'll cover every race, top four on every race, including a best and a value bet. And uh, also an option to go to, as I said, a few things that are on the site that no one else can get hold of. Okay, we've got 10 races on Sunday afternoon meeting starting just after 12 o'clock, 12 past 12. What's going to be interesting for me is where the horses who raced really well last week can back up. And there's one obvious horse, which is Sue Princess. Um, she's in race four. She's number 14. was massive last week. And if that version turned up again, you'd probably think she would win. Do you think horses will be backing up their performances? Because we saw from last uh, Sunday at Cambridge to last Thursday at Alexandra Park, that was only a four-day turnaround. And two of the winners out of the six races came out of backing up. So some horses, it doesn't seem to bother too much. No, I don't think it does, Michael. And a few of these, especially in the south, have had the, had the benefit of a couple more trials than what we've had in the north. And uh, we saw that last week. Of course, they raced on the Thursday and the Friday. So on your point about Sue Princess, I think she's going to be pretty hard to beat. I, I did like one in there, Michael, and um, I'm really keen on her. It's a horse called the Eye of the Tiger, trained by the Bagaries. This one's going to be driven by Mark Hurrell. And this is a junior driver's race. These horses are chasing penalty-free win. Sue Princess was very good, but I only ran home in a, just over a minute and a tick, around 61 seconds. Uh, the day later, the Eye of the Tiger ran home in 59 just under 57.9 I got her, which is pretty good for a trotter. And she got home from a long way back. Now, she's drawn barrier five in a mobile trot this week, where she was off a stand last week. And all her form is from mobiles. I can see her going off the gate here. Mark Harrell's a pretty good young driver, and he's pretty aggressive too. So, Sue Princess will be short. I thought either the Tiger on an each-way basis might be a nice Quinella in the trot. Yeah, I like her. I think he sits in the cart well. Um, I like a lot of the young juniors. He's not scared to go forward in his races. So, yeah, no issues backing him in a junior driver's race. Um, what's the other one or two you sort of find for a Sunday afternoon punt? Well, I think uh, later in the program, we're talking about junior driver's races. There's two on the program. We've highlighted one. The other is race number eight. And I'm quite keen on this one. It should be at really nice odds, Michael. It's a horse called Sagano. Now, it came out of the race last week where... Ultra Endeavour went a bit rough in the race late and under wraps grabbed it. The run of the race was a horse called Sagano off the clock. Sectionally wise, it was really good. Just under 56 seconds its last half. Quarter and 27 from well back in the field after drawing the outside of the gate, barrier nine. Had to go back to last. It was a leader's dominated race. This week it's off the front. Cherie Tomlinson takes the drive. Again, chasing that penalty free win. Uh, Tiebreaker will be short. But on, on a bit of value, I thought race eight, number six, Sagano, off the clock last week, if you can get a nice price, wouldn't take $4, $5. But if you get a bit longer than that, certainly play each way on her and the junior drivers. All right, Craig, thanks for all your help this weekend. As the Wild Watch becomes big fish, little fish, we'll be checking back in at the back end of next week. Cheers, mate.